Lesson 4, Single Digit Quotients, Dividing by 3. Here are the first 10 multiples of 3, which students have already memorized. And it's here so that we can focus on divisibility and on the division procedure. Let's go over two examples in part 1. Here we have 28 divided by 3. And is 28 evenly divisible by 3? And the answer is no, because 28 is not on the list. So look at 28 and count backwards. Counting backwards from 28 brings us to 27. Is 27 on the list? The answer is yes, it's right here. So write it down right away. And how many times do we need to count by 3 to get to 27? Let's find out. 1 time, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times, 6 times, 7 times, 8 times, 9 times. So the if-then statement is, if 27 divided by 3 equals 9, then 9 times 3 equals 27. That's true, so let's subtract. 8 minus 7 equals 1. 2 minus 2 gives us 0. We'll leave it blank. And our final answer is 9 remainder 1. Let's go straight down and do one more example from part 1. Here's 17 divided by 3. So can you do 17 divided by 3 evenly? The answer is no, because it's not on this list. And 17 is not a multiple of 3. So count backwards from 17. Counting backwards takes us to 16. Is 16 on the list? The answer is no. So keep counting backwards. Count backwards again, and it takes us to 15. Is 15 on the list? The answer is yes. It's right here. So write it down right away. And how many times do we need to count by 3 to get to 15? 1 time, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times. So the if-then statement is, if 15 divided by 3 equals 5, then 5 times 3 equals 15. That's true, so let's subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. And our final answer is 5 remainder 2. Let's take a look at the pattern that students should notice in part 2. In part 2, we're going to divide by 3. And notice that all the dividends in each of these problems is going in ascending order. So here we have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. And since there's a pattern in the dividend, there's also going to be a pattern in the remainder. Let's jump ahead and take a look at the quotients for each of these problems. So here, the quotients are 7, 7 remainder 1, 7 remainder 2, 8, 8 remainder 1, 8 remainder 2. So let's draw a box around each remainder to highlight the pattern. Here, there was no remainder. Remainder 1, remainder 2. No remainder. Remainder 1, remainder 2. Now let's use the pattern that we learned in part 2 to help us with part 3. In part 3, we're going to divide by 3, and just like in part 2 above, all the dividends are going in ascending order. So here we have 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. So let's use the pattern that we learned in part 2 to help us with part 3. The quotients here are 9, 9 remainder 1, 9 remainder 2, 10, 10 remainder 1, and 10 remainder 2. Take a look at the statements on the right side of the page. When dividing by 3, the only remainders you can have are 0, 1, or 2. And we saw that here. No remainder, remainder 1, remainder 2, no remainder. Remainder 1, remainder 2. Let's keep going. When dividing by 3, the remainder will always be less than 3. 
Last statement. Think. When dividing by 5, the remainder will always be less than 5.